<clears throat> Good afternoon, respected faculties. So today I'll be presenting the zonal club on, on the article uh, by Kua Maga, uh, that is biomechanical analysis of total mesurization of the mandibular dentition, uh, that is a clinical immune study. Uh, so the uh, the author of the article is uh, and and so, so and the total of the uh, total uh, authors uh, was uh, uh, was six and uh, so the uh, the author Kawamaga is is from the private practice uh, uh, in Kawamaga dental office and. Uh, and uh, Dr. Park was uh, is from the postgraduate orthodontic program from the Arizona uh, School of Dentistry. Uh, similarly, uh, Dr. Tse is also from uh, from the Arizona School of Dentistry, and uh, Dr. Park also works at uh, King Yi Universities from Korea, and Dr. Kozima he works at the private uh, practice in Japan. Uh, Dr. Cook uh, works at the Catholic University of Korea. And Dr. Kyung, uh, uh, he, he works at the Department of Orthodontics uh, from uh, Kyung Puk uh, 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 National University from the Korea. And Dr. Tse also works at uh, the Wokang Dental Resource Institute from the University of uh, Wong, uh, Wong Kwang from the Korea. So this article was published uh, <clears throat> In orthodontics and craniofacial research, and it was uh, received in two May two thousand and nineteen, and it was uh, asked to revise, and it, uh, the revise wa revision was done in uh, on nine June two thousand and nineteen, and it was uh, accepted on fifteen June two thousand and nineteen. So the orthodontics and craniofacial research is one of the popular art journal in orthodontics, uh, orthodontics. Uh, and uh, it has the impact factor of 1.455. And uh, the editor in chief from, uh, of the orthodontics and craniofacial research is, uh, is the Amber Microti. And uh, uh, it is published uh, three times in a year. And this article was published on volume 22, issue 4 um, in November 2019. So, going to the article. So, the class 2 MAGA cousin is generally one of the most common MAGA cousin. And, uh, for the collection of this class two maga cousin, this uh, poses the major, uh, major and also one of the common challenge, challenges uh, uh, to the uh, orthodontics. And uh, for the collection of the class two maga cousin, uh, this generally includes uh, a variety of protocols, uh, and it uh, it may include the uh, variety of extraction protocol. It may include the parietal expansion mechanism. Uh, also includes the extra attraction. Also, it can uh, be collected through the use of the functional appliance. And in case of the error patient, where the growth is not possible, the surgical repositioning of the source can help us to collect the class 2 And uh, the, uh, the various mechanism in order to collect the class 2 this can be uh, dependent upon the clinician's, clinician's priorities, uh, the type of the anomaly present, the, whether the growth uh, of the patient is present or not, also uh, depends upon the severity of the anterior posterior discrepancy also upon the patient age and compliance. Uh, so the, uh, the class 2 these are uh, uh, often collected through the major displacement of the mandibular teeth. And for the major displacement of the mandibular teeth, uh, various mechanisms can be applied. And one of the mechanisms to collect the class 2 uh, through the major displacement is, is uh, through the use of the class 2 elastics. Although the class 2 elastics can be used for the collection of the class 2, class two dental regulation uh, through the major displacement of the mandibular teeth, it, uh, it is not uh, without the side effects. And uh, the side effects of the class 2 elastics includes uh, the lingual tipping of the maxillary incisors, the retrusion and the extrusion of the maxillary incisors, the labial tipping, and also the intrusion of the mandibular incisors. Uh, there is mesialization and extrusion of the mandibular molars, intrusion of the maxillary uh, molars, and uh, all of these factors will cause the clockwise rotation of the occlusal plane and uh, the mandible. And also, uh, the the cluster elastics uh, uh, has the uh, has the uh, 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 since it causes the extrusion of the molars, it will increase the vertical dimension. And so, in uh, while using the cluster elastics, the control of the vertical dimension uh, is very challenging in case of the use of the cluster elastics. 
And in order to correctly uh, control the vertical dimension, the line of the action of uh, 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 line of the action of the crust elastics must pass through the center of resistance of the mandibular dentition. And also the uh, the protraction of the mandible mandible molars through the use of the crust elastics is very challenging uh, because uh, the mandible uh, mandible has the high density, and uh, because of the high density, the uh, and also because of the um, uh, uh, less vascularity of the mandible, the movement of the tooth uh, is very slow in case of the mandible. So, uh, uh, in order to uh, uh, speed up the movement of the mandible teeth, the, uh, some of the authors have uh, advocated the use of the uh, temporary skeletal angle devices and also to uh, eliminate the side effects uh, and to accelerate the orthodontic uh, uh, tooth movement. Uh, they have suggested the temporary skeletal angle devices. So the cluster elastics uh, are also generally used in case of the orthodontic surgery uh, for the preparation uh, for the uh, pre-surgical orthodontic preparation, uh, uh, basically in case of the skeletal class three patients. So in case of skeletal class three patients, uh, the decompensation is generally done through the use of the uh, cluster elastics so that um, we can retrocline the uh, maxillary incisors and uh, bring the mandibular uh, teeth into a more no a normal uh, inclination. And using the orthodontic mini plates, uh, this can be achieved. Uh, uh, this can be achieved easily. Uh, uh, can be uh, achieved easily. And this was uh, uh, advised by Su uh, Suga uh, Wara et al., uh, in which they performed the uh, surgery first approach. And in case of surgery first approach, they have used the uh, temporary skeletal anchor device uh, in order to prepare the, uh, in order to, uh, in order for the uh, decompensation of the uh, maxillary and mandibular teeth. So the temporary skeletal anchorage device, uh, this is more efficient uh, uh, method uh, than the traditional methods for the miserization of the whole mandibular dentition. And uh, uh, since the, uh, also this cluster elastics uh, requires the compliance, so uh, while you, uh, uh, with the use of the temporary skeletal anchorage device, uh, 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 the patient, uh, compliance of the patient is uh, often not required. And also the anchorage uh, demand of the patient, also the anchorage demand is not uh, required uh, when we use the uh, uh, temporary skeletal anchorage device. And for the correction of the skeletal and dental class regulations, uh, the various authors have given the bio various biomechanics. Uh, however, the, uh, for the total miserization of the mandibular dentition, uh, the, the studies has been uh, here in the literature. So uh, the aim of this study was to uh, clarify the mechanics uh, that determine the tooth movement patterns in the total miserization of the mandibular dentition. And for the materials and methods, uh, the, uh, this study used the same uh, finite element model that was used uh, uh, by the author Chi Atto in 2019. And uh, the difference is that the Chi Atto, uh, Atto have uh, used the uh, finite element model for the digitalization of the whole mandibular dentition, whereas uh, this uh, Kawamura Atto have used the uh, uh, same model for the miserization of the whole mandibular dentition. So this is the model that was uh, prepared for the uh, study. And in this study, the, uh, the tooth and the alveolar bone is taken as the rigid body. And the as well, uh, it has the as well uh, of uh, 19, di dimension 1925 inch stainless steel as well. And the bracket slot size is uh, 22 by 28 inch uh, bracket slot. And this as well and the bracket slot dimension was uh, different from that of the uh, theater where uh, they have used uh, 16 by 22 inch, uh, six, 16 by 22 mil stainless steel in uh, 18 by 25 slot uh, as well. And uh, since the, uh, since the uh, as well, it's, uh, uh, the, the 1925 as well, it has flexible property. So uh, the, in order to um, uh, differentiate uh, uh, the, uh, the biomechanics uh, from the flexibility, from flexibility the, uh, the author has uh, uh, used the two condition. That is, uh, when there is, the, uh, when there is clearance between the as well and the bracket slot, and, uh, and in the second condition, when there is uh, no friction, that is, there is no clearance gap between the as well and the bracket slot. So they have used the two conditions. And they have considered the, uh, uh, the thickness of the periodontal ligament, uh, uh, which is elastic at 0.2 mm. And it has the Young's modulus of 0.2 megapascal, and it has the poisonous ratio of uh, 0.4. And uh, the width of the bracket is uh, 0.4 mm for sorry 4 mm for the molars, and for the other tooth it has uh, 3 mm. And in order to locate the center of resistance, they have used the uh, they have used the 
uh, previous study by Zhu A. Agatol, and uh, the center of resistance for the whole antibody dentition is generally located, uh, generally located uh, from the mesial cost, uh, uh, mesial to the mesial cost, that is 2.5 mm, and uh, it is located 7.8 mm inferiorly to the uh, as well. And so this uh, finite element model was uh, constructed uh, based on the dental product that is uh, that was by uh, Nissin Dental Product Company, and the surfaces of the teeth were divided into the into the cell elements. So when using this elastic model, right, the bocalingual and the axial mobilities of the maxillary postmandibular, uh, this was as calculated by the finite element method, and this was uh, consistent with the uh, <clears throat> story by Kozima et al. and the uh, Goto et al. Uh, as previously, previously said, the aswell was a dimension of 1925 mil uh, with a Young's modulus of uh, 200 gigapascal and it had the poison ratio of 0.3. And the bracket slot size was uh, 22 by 28 mil and uh, uh, the width for the uh, posterior tooth was uh, 4 mm, whereas uh, for the other teeth it was uh, 3 mm. And the bracket was assumed to be rigid bodies because the feasibility of the uh, bracket as compared to the aswell, this was uh, negligible. So it was considered as the rigid bodies. Uh, so for in the, uh, in the uh, 1925 uh, uh, mil SS aswell, in the 22 by 20, uh, 20, 20 mil bracket, uh, there, there is the presence of clearance and the clearance is generally uh, 0 0.003. Three and uh, while the mesialization, there is uh, the free, the friction is present between the aswell and the bracket slot. So when the uh, uh, contact of the aswell in the in the bracket slot takes place, there is a rotation of the, uh, the rotation of the aswell by seven point two degree. So the bracket slot uh, this uh, slide along the aswell with a frictional coefficient of uh, zero point one five, and this was similar to the uh, study by uh, Kuziato in two thousand and five. And so to so the effect of the clearance gap, uh, uh, the another condition that is uh, the as why was firmly fixed to the bracket uh, without the clearance uh, clearance gap was assumed in this story. So the first uh, uh, value of three newton was applied uh, from the uh, in the in, from the anterior direction for uh, for the visualization of the whole mandibular dentition. And the first angulation was applied at the various angulation. So this minus angle uh, represents the anterior inferior direction. And when the angle is from uh, uh, 15 to 30 degrees, this uh, angle uh, positive angulation means that the angulation is from the anterior in, uh, superior direction. So the, uh, uh, the, the first, uh, first value of P Newton uh, is applied uh, uh, at various uh, angulation that is from minus 30 to 15 degree to zero degree angulation and uh, then uh, at the angulation of 15 degree to 30 degree. So in, as in this figure, we can see when the uh, force angulation is, uh, uh, force angulation is of three Newton is applied at the uh, 30 degree angulation, then we can see, uh, see the buckle angulation is highest, that is 20.9 degree. And when the force angulation uh, decreases gradually from uh, minus 30 to plus 30 degree, uh, the angulation gradually decreases up to um, no, up, up to zero degree. And when the angulation is increased from 15 to 30 degree, there is the lingo tipping. From the, so from the buckle uh, tipping uh, uh, to the, uh, when the force is angulation is increased to plus degree, plus 30 degree, the angulation, uh, the tipping of the mandibular molars is to the lingo direction. And uh, for the uh, mesial tipping of the uh, mesial tipping, when the force angulation is minus 30 degree, then uh, there is three degree. And when the force angulation increases, also the tipping of the uh, molars to the mesial direction also increases gradually to, uh, gradually when, when the force angulation is changed to 30 degree. And also the uh, labial tipping, this uh, this value uh, when present, uh, the force angulation is minus 30 degree, then it is at 3.3 uh, uh, degree. And uh, when the fo force angulation gradually increases to first 30 degree, then also the, uh, uh, the labial tipping of the incisor gradually increases. That is from minus, uh, sorry, 3.3 degree to it has increased to 13.7 degree. And uh, uh, for the color coding in this uh, figure, the, the pale uh, color, this represents the initial position of the tooth and the red color, this represents the comp compression and uh, uh, this blue color represents the uh, tension, uh, tension in the uh, tooth. 
So this amount of force uh, that is three Newton uh, and uh, the angulation at um, four minus uh, 30 degree to plus 30 degree, this was uh, 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 this uh, was same as that of the study uh, in the previous, uh, uh, was same to that of the previous studies. So when we see that uh, the, uh, the uh, when the force angulation at uh, minus 30 degree is applied, there is a uh, buckle tipping of 20.9 degrees. So uh, what uh, was done in this case was was that the uh, the asway was uh, prevent uh, in the uh, the asway was uh, prevent in the inward direction. So the prevent asway was used uh, uh, was placed uh, in the in the uh, in the as and. Uh, this prevented the uh, buckle tipping of the second models. And this, uh, when this prevent aspect was placed into the aspect, uh, the force value of approximately uh, one, new uh, uh, one newton was, ap uh, was applied at the distal end of the aspect. And this force uh, helped in the prevention of the uh, buckle tipping of the, uh, of the models when the force angulation was uh, minus 30 degree. So the center of resistance, uh, this was, uh, 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 was uh, similar to the previous study by uh, Seattle in 2019, and this was uh, this is mainly present at the major to the uh, major buckle cost of approximately 2.5 mm and inferiorly uh, to the aspect of approximately 7.8 uh, mm. And this angulation uh, uh, of minus 28 degree this passes uh, to the center of resistance. So the displacements were measured uh, at three position. That is the, uh, it is measured at the central incisor edge, the buckle cost of the first premolar, and it is also measured at the distal buckle cost of the second molar. And the tipping angles uh, of the incisor, the first premolar and also the second molar were measured. And for the occlusal plane angle, uh, the vertical di displacement uh, was measured uh, by joining the line of central incisor, uh, central incisor edge and the distal buckle cost of the second molar. So the orthodontic tooth movement, uh, this was uh, uh, simulated uh, using the uh, using the same method uh, that was used by the previous study by C. Atoll and Kojima Atoll. And the mechanical stimuli to the, P, uh, uh, and when the force is applied uh, to the uh, to the finite element model, uh, this causes the uh, uh, deposition and apposition, sorry, apposition and resorption of the alveolar bone. And uh, through this uh, apposition and resorption mechanism, the tooth moves. And this tooth moves in the same direction uh, as the initial displacement uh, of the uh, elastic deformation of the periodontal ligament. And uh, uh, the, for the simulation of the finite element model, uh, uh, the two step was, uh, was performed and these two steps was uh, repeated uh, for the for a number of times uh, in order to appreciate the uh, clinic, in order to appreciate the uh, displacement of the tooth. So the initial displacement was calculated and uh, this uh, and once the alveolar socket of each tooth was moved uh, by the same amount uh, as that of the periodontal ligament, and, uh, and uh, this step, uh, this uh, this first step, that is the initial displacement and the displacement in the of the tooth in the socket. Uh, this is repeated for a number of times, and uh, and uh, and the teeth were uh, 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 and thus the teeth were moved by the accumulated initial displacement. And uh, while while changing the uh, while, while going from one step to the another step, the uh, the force is, uh, the force value was also updated uh, of th three newton force. So the normal of, uh, iterations, this was uh, uh, denoted as n and uh, denoted as n, and this corresponds to the time elapsed uh, after the force application. And this finite element analysis was performed through the uh, ANSI software uh, version 11.0. And in this uh, uh, finite element model, the uh, uh, number of iterations chosen was uh, 400 because uh, uh, at this uh, at this uh, normal, uh, it it was possible to clarify the uh, tooth movement uh, that was produced by the force angulation, and also uh, so that it can be uh, uh, the tooth movement can be discriminated visually. Yeah. And also um, because the movement distances, uh, these uh, tooth movements were uh, similar to that uh, in the actual clinical situations. So for the result of this finite element study, uh, when the uh, so for so the for the uh, when the uh, uh, the force angulation was minus 30 degrees, so it was um, at 20.9 degree. And uh, the, for the buckle, in, uh, buckle, buckle tipping of the molars, this was gradually decreased when the force 
angulation was uh, increased to cross 30 degree. Whereas the other uh, other uh, tooth movement, that is the mesial uh, tipping and the labial tipping, which was gradually gradually increased when the force angulation was changed from minus 30 degree to cross 30 degree. And one thing to note here is uh, is that when the uh, force angulation is minus 30 degree, there is a buckle tipping of the first molar. But when the force angulation is changed to cross 30 degree, then uh, the molars are lingually ring tipped. So this is the three-dimensional displacement of the of the mandibular tip, and uh, the three-dimensional displacement has been uh, uh, and, and the numerical value has been given in the uh, in the three axis. That is uh, that is the x-axis. X-axis means that uh, posterior anterior direction, and plus means the uh, posterior direction, whereas minus means the anterior direction. The y-axis uh, means the medial lateral. Plus means the uh, plus means uh, lateral and minus means uh, minus means the uh, major direction and uh, the z axis z axis means the superior inferior where if the uh, if if plus if there is extrusion that is uh, plus sign is given and uh, in, intrusion is takes place then the minus sign is given so in the x axis that is the posterior anterior direction. The central incisor case was uh, when the force angulation was minus 30 degree, so it was uh, minus 0 0.84, and it was gradually increased uh, when the force angulation was increased to zero degree. And when the prebent as well uh, was used, there was slightly decreased amount of the uh, labial, uh, labial displacement of the incisor edge of the central incisor edge. And when when uh, the, with the, there, there was no clearance gap between the aspect and the bracket, bracket slot, there was decreased amount of the um, displacement of the central incisor. Similarly, the uh, buckle cost of the first uh, premolar, this was um, at minus 30 degree, this was minus 0 0.72, and this was again gradually increased when the force angulation was increased. Similarly, the digital buckle cost of the uh, second molar, this was uh, initially it was minus uh, 1.74, and this was gradually, again gradually increased uh, uh, when the force angulation is increased. Similarly, in the y axis, that is the medial lateral. Uh, 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 in the central incisor case, it was uh, 0 0.07, and again, uh, when the force angulation is in, uh, is uh, is uh, is increased from minus 30 degree to plus 30 degree, the uh, the displacement is also increased. Similarly, the uh, uh, the buckle cost of the first pin below, this was in, in, in at minus uh, 8, 30 degree it is 0 0.88, and it again. Uh, uh, in in the minus 15 degree, it is slightly decreased amount that is 0 0.7. And uh, again, uh, and when the angulation is increased, uh, uh, the buckle displacement is uh, in the in the first uh, premolar it is decreased, and uh, when the um, increased uh, when the angulation is increased to 30 degree, there is a uh, lingual uh, lingual dis uh, displacement of the first premolar. Similarly, uh, the distal buckle cost of seven, second molar also the uh, the highest value is present at minus 30 degree, and when the angulation is increased. Uh, there is the uh, lingual tipping of the uh, molars when the uh, when the angulation is increased to the positive value. Similarly, in the z-axis, <clears throat> that is the uh, extrusion and intrusion. Uh, so in the central incisor edge, uh, the uh, mi uh, minus means that there is the intrusion of the uh, mandible incisor tooth. So when the angulation is increased from minus 40 degree to plus 30 degree, the intrusion of the mandible incisor tooth is increased. And also the uh, uh, the buckle cost of the first premolar also shows that uh, when the angulation is increased from minus 30 degree to plus 30 degree, the uh, intrusion of the uh, intru intrusion of the uh, first premolar also takes place. Uh, whereas uh, in case of the uh, uh, second second uh, second molar, uh, when the angulation is at minus 30 degree, then the ang uh, then there is the intrusion of the uh, second molar. But when the angulation is increased uh, to Minus 40 degree to uh, minus uh, minus 40 degree to plus 40 degree. Uh, then the uh, extrusion of the uh, second molar takes place. So initially at minus 30 degree there is intrusion, whereas when the force angulation is increase, then uh, then the second molar extrusion takes place. And this is the three-dimensional rotation of the uh, mandibular teeth value. So when the uh, 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 in the in, in the incisor, the radial angle angulation is that uh, in the minus 40 degree it is 3.3, uh, and uh, when the force angulation is increased, uh, then the, the radial angle inclination is also increased in the uh, central incisor, and also in the uh, medial lateral in the medial lateral uh, angulation. 
so in the middle lateral uh, direction the the plus value means the uh, plus value means the middle and uh, distal means the uh, negative value so uh, the distal displacement of the uh, incisor uh, is gradually increased when gradually increase when the uh, when the force angulation is increased uh, similar in case of the first premolar uh, the buccal angular angulation is uh, at minus 30 degree it is uh, uh, 6.65 and um, this uh, uh, buccal, uh, buccal uh, angulation, this gradually increases in case of the uh, uh, first premolar as well as the second molar, which is highest at the uh, minus 40 degree angulation. And similarly, the, uh, for the uh, rotation of the rotation of the occlusal plane, for the rotation of the occlusal plane, it is uh, uh, minus. Uh, uh, for the at the angulation of minus 30 degree it is uh, minus 1.68 that is there is the uh, there is the counterclockwise rotation at minus uh, 30 degree whereas uh, when the angulation is increased uh, to plus 30 degree then uh, there will be uh, clockwise rotation of the occlusal plane so at uh, minus 30 degree there is the uh, clockwise rotation whereas uh, Sorry, uh, counterclockwise rotation, and when the angle is increased to plus 30 degree, there is the uh, uh, clockwise rotation of mandible. And for uh, without clearance, when there is no clearance gap between the uh, uh, bracket and the as well, uh, then also there is the uh, uh, counterclockwise rotation of minus uh, uh, 0 0.23. So uh, this figure shows that. Uh, um, the moment pattern at minus two degree of force angulation, uh, then there is the uh, uh, when we apply the so initially when uh, there is no prevent as well, then uh, there is the buckle tipping of the uh, force molar uh, by 20.9. So when the prevent as well is applied of one newton force, uh, then we can see that uh, there is a decreased buckle tipping of the uh, first uh, molar by 7.4 degree, and also the mesial tipping of the first molar is also decreased by 2.9 degree, and also the labial tipping. Actually, the labial tipping is gradually is slightly increased from 3.3 to uh, 5.2 degree. So, in comparison, uh, the buckle tipping of the model has uh, has been decreased by almost uh, more than uh, uh, by more than half. So, this figure uh, shows that uh, the moment pattern when uh, uh, when the arch wire is uh, uh, fixed firmly to the bracket without any clearance gaps. So when the uh, when the rigid as well, that is you know, when there is no clearance gap, then the buckle tipping has also been reduced to uh, 5.3 degree. The mesial tipping has been also reduced to 0 0.6 degree, and also the labial tipping has been uh, reduced to 2.5 degree. So what we can conclude from these two, uh, two uh, diagram is that uh, so the buckle and mesial tipping of the angle has been decreased to 5.3 degree and 0 0.6 degree when there is no clearance gap between the as well and the bracket slot. Uh, so what we can conclude is that uh, uh, the uh, this buckle tipping of the uh, model uh, when uh, when the force is applied at minus 40 degrees is because of the uh, clearance gap between the aswell and the bracket surface. so when we uh, <clears throat> increase the stiffness of the aswell and when the clearance gap between the aswell and the bracket slot is raised uh, then then there will be less buckle tipping of the uh, models so going to the discussion uh, so the mechanics of this total miseration has been uh, 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 described in this article is similar to that of the article by Theato, whereas the difference is that in Theato, uh, uh, they have uh, utilized the finite element model for the distillation of the whole mandibular dentition, uh, whereas in this article, it is used as uh, miseration of the whole mandibular dentition. The displacement of his tooth, uh, uh, this tooth, uh, this is basically because of the uh, movement of the whole mandibular uh, dentition, uh, because of the elastic deformation of the aswell, and also because of the clearance gap or play between the aswell and the bracket slot. And the moment of the whole dentition, uh, this is dependent upon the uh, uh, force direction uh, with respect to the center of resistance. And this center of resistance was determined as uh, by the previous article by from Zhu uh, A. Agato, and it is generally located at uh, 2.5 mm mesial to the first molar and 7.8 mm from the uh, arch wires. So the, as the force angulation was uh, uh, minus 40 degree, then uh, and as in as shown in the uh, as shown in the table, uh, it was uh, uh, minus 6.1 one, minus 1.68. Uh, uh, that was uh, anti-clockwise rotation. Uh, there was anti-clockwise rotation of the uh, uh, when there was a clearance, uh, clearance between the aswell and the bracket slot, whereas uh, uh, when there was without uh, clearance gap, uh, there was less anti-clockwise rotation, that is uh, minus uh, uh, 0 0.23 
uh, anti clockwise rotation. Uh, so, in this, uh, uh, in the case with this clearance gap, even though uh, there was, sorry, even though there was large buckle tipping, uh, so. Um, uh, the good, uh, the buckle tipping was uh, 12, uh, 20.9 degree for this. Uh, the rotation of the occlusal plane is less uh, in case of the miserization of the whole mandibular dentition. So when increasing the uh, force angulation uh, by more than uh, 28 degree, uh, the, the rotation of the occlusal plane takes place in the clockwise rotation because it, um, it is above the center of resistance of the uh, whole mandibular dentition. So the rotation of the whole dentition, this induced the tipping of the individual teeth, uh, and this individual teeth uh, tipping cannot be compensated through the uh, prevent as well, uh, or, or by, by the talking of the as well, as uh, we can compensate for the buckle tipping of the uh, first model. So, sorry, the uh, buckle tipping of the second model. So as a force angulation, <laughs> Uh, of minus 30 degree, the buckle tipping angle of the uh, model was uh, 20.9 degree, and major tipping was uh, 3.0, and radio tipping was uh, 3.3 degree. And for without clearance gap, when there is no clearance gap, then at the same angle of minus 30 degree, the buckle tipping is reduced to 5.3 degree, uh, major tipping also 0. Point, uh, reduced to 0. 0.6, and also the radio tipping is decreased to 2.5 degree. So because we can conclude that because of this clearance gap, the, uh, the model was uh, rotated buckly, and this uh, rotation moved the model on buckly, and, uh, and also this is also caused by the drastic deflection, deflection of the as well. And uh, when the angulation was increased from minus 30 to plus 30 degree, there was a ring tipping of the uh, model. So when the angulation was increased to 30 degree, uh, there is ring so we can we know that there is ring tipping of the post model. So in order to uh, Uh, so in the total distillation, uh, a force was applied to the as well, uh, according to Theater, uh, bet uh, between the canine and the first uh, premolar, and this uh, buccal ring tipping of the posterior teeth was not uh, large in case of the uh, in, in case of the uh, uh, in, in case of the article by Theater, whereas uh, uh, it is uh, the buccal tipping is large in case of the miserization of the uh, tooth. And the, uh, the, the buckle tipping was less in case of this uh, theater because uh, the force uh, was applied from the uh, between the canine and the first premolar. Uh, so, in uh, this, because there is uh, the lingual, when the force angulation is increased to uh, lingual of the uh, first molar, we can uh, what we can do uh, to prevent the lingual uh, tipping of the first first molar, of the second molar. Uh, uh, when the force angulation is increased to 30 degree, cross 30 degrees, that uh, we can give the uh, lingual prevent as well uh, can be given uh, so uh, into the dentition so that a lingual force will be applied and uh, the, therefore prevent the uh, buckle tipping uh, and the buckle tipping will be prevented. So when the force angulation is increased to 30 degree, we know that there is a lingual tipping of the first molar. So uh, we can, what we can do is we can give the, uh, we can prevent the as well to buckle and so that we can uh, prevent the lingual, uh, lingual going or the tipping of the, of the second molar um, uh, while, while the force is applied to cross 30 degree from the uh, occlusal plane. So for the finite argument is time relation, uh, the, the mechanics of total miserization uh, that this tooth movement uh, was simulated using a typical model, and the numerical values were dependent on the finite element model, but not in the clinical practice. Uh, so the individual tooth condition, uh, because in the uh, uh, clinical practice, the individual tooth condition, such as uh, the size, shape, and the movement uh, resistance of the tooth will affect the tooth movement. So for the uh, validity, uh, this was, uh, the validity has been, uh, <coughs> Uh, has been studied by Kojima et al., but not all the uh, assumptions uh, has been validated, and uh, not all the clinical factor can be in in the clinical se uh, sector can be uh, can be included in the finite argument model. So these limitations should also be considered when uh, comparing the uh, simulation result with the tooth movement in the clinical settings. So for the clinical consideration. Uh, the class two elastics has been uh, are often uh, used to correct the class two dental relation by miserization of the mandibular dentition, and also by the stiffening of the occlusal plane angle. And also sometimes the class two elastics can be used for the uh, change of the current of the occlusal plane. And uh, and this uh, so in order to uh, we should be uh, understand the biomechanics of the class two elastics uh, because the uh, sometimes the current of the occlusal plane uh, can be uh, ch for changing the current of the occlusal plane. This uh, sometimes can be intentional or un unintentional. So we have to understand the biomechanics uh, 
in order to um, uh, be, before using the cross tree elastics. So using the cross tree elastics correctly, uh, this implies that taking advantage of the um, uh, positive effects uh, and also uh, uh, controlling the undesirable effects of the cross tree elastics. The vertical, uh, the uh, the cross tree elastics. This has the uh, uh, vertical component, and uh, the vertical component. What uh, this does is that it excludes the maxillary incisors and the mandibular. Uh, models and this can lead to the rotation of the occlusal plane as well as also it can help uh, uh, it, it will result in the opening of the mandible and uh, uh, the extrusion of the man, uh, of the mandible models this will penetrate into the freeway space and these will reorient the mandible to the cranial base and this will result in the unstable orthodontic treatment 